Have you ever pondered the depth and diversity of Indian culture and traditions? The story of Indian culture is as fascinating as it is complex, a vibrant tapestry woven through thousands of years of history. To grasp the roots of this immense cultural heritage we must travel back in time to the blossoming of the Indus Valley Civilization, around 5,000 years ago. This ancient society, one of the world's oldest, was an early beacon of urban planning, trade, and artistic expression. It's from these early city dwellers that many of India's cultural norms and traditions began to take shape. Fast forward to the Vedic period, a time of profound spiritual and intellectual awakening. Here we see the rise of the sacred scriptures known as the Vedas, which remain central to Hindu philosophy today. This period also marked the birth of two of the world's most widely practiced religions, Buddhism and Jainism, each contributing to the diverse spiritual landscape of India. The Vedic period was not just about spirituality though, it was an era of linguistic evolution, with the development of Sanskrit, one of the world's oldest languages. This classical language of India became the bedrock of literature, philosophy and science, its influence seeping into many aspects of Indian culture. Moreover, the Vedic age saw the codification of social order, giving rise to the caste system. While this system has evolved and been subject to much debate throughout history, its roots in the Vedic age underscore its long-standing influence on Indian society. The Vedic period also witnessed significant developments in the fields of mathematics, astronomy, and medicine, laying the groundwork for future scientific exploration. These advancements, coupled with the social constructs and spiritual beliefs of the time, shaped a society that was as intellectually curious as it was spiritually profound. The roots of Indian culture are deep and diverse, drawing from a rich historical tapestry that spans millennia. Each period of history, each civilization, has added its own unique thread to this vibrant cultural fabric. As we delve deeper into the tapestry of Indian culture, we journey next into the era of empires. Imagine, if you will, a time of empires and dynasties, where culture and traditions were shaped by powerful rulers. Welcome to the era of the Maurya and Gupta empires, where Indian culture experienced significant transformations and flourished in its true essence. The Maurya Empire stretching from the Himalayas to the Deccan Plateau rose to power in the 4th century BCE. It was under the reign of Ashoka the Great that the empire saw a cultural renaissance. Ashoka, a once fierce ruler, adopted Buddhism after witnessing the horrors of war. He transformed his rule into a reign of peace and prosperity, spreading the teachings of Buddhism not just within his empire but across the Asian continent. The influence of Buddhism during this era was profound. It reshaped societal norms, introduced ethical governance, and encouraged the practice of non-violence. The teachings of Buddha were inscribed on rocks and pillars across the empire, some of which still stand as testament to this influential period. Now let's leap forward to the 4th century CE, to the time of the Gupta Empire, often referred to as the Golden Age of Indian history. This was an era marked by significant advancements in arts, sciences and literature. The Guptas were great patrons of education and learning. Universities like Nalanda and Vikramshila became global centers of education, attracting scholars from far and wide. The Gupta period was also renowned for its remarkable achievements in the field of astronomy, mathematics and medicine. Concepts like zero and the decimal system were developed during this era which have shaped the course of mathematical and scientific discovery ever since. In the realm of art the Guptas left an indelible mark. They pioneered the creation of intricate sculptures, paintings and temples, many of which are marveled at for their aesthetic brilliance even today. As these empires fell, new influences began to shape the culture of the Indian subcontinent. But the imprints left by the Maurya and Gupta dynasties continue to echo in the corridors of Indian culture, reminding us of a time when empires and dynasties left their mark not just on land, but on the soul of a civilization. The winds of change swept over the Indian subcontinent bringing new influences and blending cultures. As the Indian subcontinent stood at the crossroads of Asia, it found itself in the path of numerous invasions. Each invasion brought with it new traditions, ideas, and cultural practices, each leaving an indelible mark on the Indian cultural landscape. Let's take a moment to delve into the significant influence of two such invasions, the Islamic and the European. The Islamic influence began around the 8th century when Arab traders and conquerors started making their way into the Indian subcontinent. 
This interaction led to a significant fusion of cultures, particularly evident in language, architecture, food and clothing. Urdu, a language that's a delightful mix of Persian, Arabic and local Indian dialects, was born out of this cultural exchange. Architectural marvels such as the Qutub Minar and the Taj Mahal, showcase the blend of Islamic and Indian architectural styles. Indian cuisine too embraced and transformed with the introduction of Middle Eastern flavors, giving rise to dishes that we now recognize as quintessentially Indian, like the biryani. The European, specifically British influence on Indian culture came much later, in the 17th century with the establishment of the East India Company. English became a language of administration and education, shaping modern India's linguistic landscape. Gothic and Victorian architectural styles found their way into Indian cityscapes. The British also introduced Western-style education, legal systems, and even sports like cricket, which is now nothing short of a religion in India. But it wasn't a one-way street. Indian culture in turn influenced the invaders, creating a symbiotic relationship of cultural exchange. The British developed a taste for Indian tea, and today Chai has a global fan following. With the end of colonial rule India emerged as a melting pot of cultures, poised to step into modernity. The influences of the Islamic and European empires continue to be seen and felt in contemporary India, adding to the richness and diversity of its cultural heritage. In the wake of independence, India stood at the cusp of an era, ready to embrace modernity while preserving its cultural heritage. As the chains of colonial rule fell away, India stepped into the light of a new dawn, the country found itself at the intersection of the old and the new, the traditional and the modern. On one hand, the nation had to keep pace with the rapidly evolving world. On the other, it had to honor and preserve its ancient traditions and practices. Thus began India's journey in the modern world, a journey marked by the blending of the old with the new. The Indian cultural landscape underwent a significant transformation, but not at the cost of its traditional roots. Arts like Kathakali and Bharatanatyam, once performed in temples and royal courts, found a new stage in the modern theater. The melodic strains of the sitar and tabla continued to resonate, even as the beats of Western music began to echo in the cities. A multitude of languages each with its unique script and literature continued to thrive. Despite the dominance of English and Hindi, regional languages like Tamil, Bengali and Marathi held their ground, preserving a myriad of local cultures and narratives. While the country adopted a democratic system and secular values, it continued to observe age-old customs and rituals. Festivals like Diwali, Eid and Christmas, each celebrated with equal fervor, stand as a testament to India's religious and cultural diversity. The Indian society, once rigidly stratified, began to embrace change. The caste system, though still prevalent, started to lose its iron grip. Women, once confined to domestic roles, stepped out to make their mark in every field, from science and technology to arts and politics. India's journey into modernity has not been a rejection of the past, but a harmonious blend of tradition and progress. It's like a colorful tapestry woven with threads of diverse cultures, practices and beliefs, each contributing to the vibrant pattern that is modern India. Today India remains a vibrant cultural mosaic, its traditions and practices a testament to its rich heritage. From the ancient Indus Valley civilization to the bustling streets of modern India, the journey of Indian culture is as diverse as it is fascinating. We've journeyed through time, retracing the steps of the resilient and adaptable Indian culture. Let's take a moment to reflect on this incredible voyage. Beginning with the roots of Indian culture, we traveled back to the ancient Indus Valley civilization, an advanced society that flourished on the banks of the Indus River over 5,000 years ago. They were pioneers in urban planning, agriculture and trade and these foundations still influence Indian society today. We then ventured into the era of empires exploring the golden ages of the Maurya and Gupta dynasties. These periods were marked by significant advancements in art, literature, science and philosophy. The principles and values from these periods have left an indelible mark on Indian culture, shaping the nation's identity. Our journey continued through the influence of Islamic and European empires. The arrival of these foreign powers brought about profound changes and challenges. Yet, Indian culture showed its resilience, absorbing new influences while maintaining its unique identity. This period witnessed a fusion of cultures, giving rise to a rich tapestry of art, architecture and literature. Finally, we arrived at modern India, a cultural mosaic where the old and the new coexist harmoniously. 
Today's India is a testament to the adaptability of its culture. As we navigate the bustling streets of modern cities, we witness the echoes of the past blending seamlessly with the pulse of the present. In this journey, we've seen the strength and resilience of Indian culture, its ability to adapt in the face of constant change, and its unwavering commitment to preserving its rich heritage. This cultural journey is not a linear path but a complex web of interwoven threads, each representing a unique part of Indian society. As we conclude our journey, remember that the beauty of Indian culture lies in its diversity and its ability to adapt, evolve, and thrive. Thank you for joining us on this voyage through time, exploring the rich tapestry that is Indian culture. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep appreciating the diverse cultures that make our world so fascinating.